Hey y'all, and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today we have a 10 minute booty bar segment. I've been teaching bar and bar fusion for the last five years, and this is some of my favorite stuff to do because there's a non-traditional, non-traditional way to build your booty, and I like being non-traditional. I like being out of the box. So I'm gonna go over here and get set up. We're gonna have some music with this. It's all to the beat. So you're gonna enjoy this next 10 minutes. We're gonna start with a right lead for all the work. I have a stool here for support. Whatever you're using at home, just make sure that it's sturdy enough to hold you if you need it, or if it's not sturdy, that you are gonna engage and not pull it over. So let's cue up our music here in three, two, and one. So we're gonna start with a curtsy on the right, an arabesque back. Curtsy, arabesque. Squeeze down and back. Two, one, two, two. Yep. So you're working both seat muscles at the same time right here. Front and back. We're building just a little bit of speed and intensity. I'm gonna take my hand off my support for my last 10 seconds. I like that. Challenge, do you like a challenge? Hold it out, two and one. Left leg is still gonna support and we're just gonna drive that right leg out straight for an adductor lift. So your left knee's still soft. We're still tight here. And this layered two minutes is really gonna work this hip muscle. Make you stronger right there in the hip. So I said in the intro that seat work, booty work is my favorite part of bar. Let me know in the comments, if you do bar, what is your favorite muscle group to work? And we're gonna relevate here and keep that leg nice and high. Keep it high, nice and balanced here. We're gonna hold, I'm gonna switch sides here in a few seconds. Three, two, one. I'm gonna switch my stool to the other side. Just a quick transition there. Curtsy on the left. Arabesque, back. Curtsy and back. Curtsy and back. There you go. One, two, one, two, one, two. There you go, find that rhythm. I also love setting things to the beat. Music is such a driving force in my creative process. And I think it helps you at home. It helps you really just connect to your body and connect to the movements. One, two, keep it going. One, two, one, two. We're almost there. Keep that lifted back. Soften that right knee, lift it. Three, two, and one. We're gonna support with that right leg straight out with the left. There we go. So you're supposed to have fire right now. We're going on four minutes in. And you're about 30 seconds away from your next move. It's gonna be a fold over position, so we will rely on our support a little bit more. We'll be faced in towards it. And it's got a fun little combo, but we have about 15 more seconds here. Let's go ahead and releve. Keep that leg higher. Oh, I'm having a fight. Are you having to dig deep right here? Hold that out, three, two, and one, yes. 
All right. So your left leg is gonna support right here. Fold it over. So that means you're hinged. Right knee is gonna be right at your left knee. Take it out one and drive that heel back. Out to the side. Drive that heel back and reach. Out to the side. Drive that heel back and reach. I actually really like this because I've got my arms out over my chair arms. I've actually never used this stool, so that's why I'm surprised. Like, this is cool. This is a good marker for me. So all your weights in that left heel, push. I messed that up. It's okay. And we're gonna bring that toe out long, shifting a little bit deeper in to that left heel and just lift long. We're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds. a big burn right here by right? fire that's it hold it up three two one bring that leg in we're doing the same thing out to the side and back out to the side push long there you are lift that knee and bring into the other knee push back Thirty more seconds right here. Lengthen and lift. Are you working? When you take that foot back, imagine that you're closing a door behind you. Push that door. There it is. You gotta use your core right here. Last one and shift a little bit deeper into that right heel. Take that toe from the floor and lift. You got it, lift. Keep your abs tight right here. Oh, we got about 10 more seconds. Now that fire's on the other side right here. Smack it up. Hold that up, three, two, and one, beautiful. I'm gonna switch my stool again so my left leg can support. Let me turn a little bit angled here. So we're gonna take a pretzel position. So your knees pointed slightly out here and pull here. Kick that heel down. All right, so now you're kicking that ball away from you. One, two, one, two. We're doing so bad. I'm firing up those glutes right here. I've got a little shake when I come in. If you're doing it right, you should too. Right there, shake. Lifts. Boom, boom. I'm smiling because it feels good. I like to work. I like to work it like this because I know what kind of shape I'm creating right here. Three, two, one. We're going to the other side. So I'm just setting up for you. Pull that pretzel up. Kick that ball out. Pretzel up. Ball out. Two, one, two. Move it, groove it. If you like these rhythm-based workouts, check out my eight-minute shoulders and thighs video. Same energy, 
same fire, but in your shoulders and your thighs. Yes, we're almost there. One more time on that pull. Push it back. Back here. One. And get it. Tight. I'm asking for intense focus right here on your seat for the last 10 seconds. Intense focus. Three, two, and one. That was your 10 minute booty bar circuit. Make sure that you are subscribed so you can come back and join me right here for class more often for more booty work, more bar work.